Hey guys, this is Austin, and this is something that you never want to see. So you've probably heard of ransomware. It is absolutely everywhere right now. And one of the biggest attacks was actually on a hospital system in the UK, where hundreds of computers were not only made basically useless, but more importantly, there were tons of documents on patients' information, test results, they're all essentially lost. This is not an isolated incident. It is happening worldwide, and not only is it affecting normal people's computers, but it's also attacking things like banks and gas stations, pretty much anything that it can get its hands on. But what is ransomware? So this actually isn't a new thing. Viruses of course have been around for pretty much as long as computers have been, but ransomware is a slightly different take on it. Generally, malware isn't this malicious. So sure, if you get a virus, you might have pop-ups or your computer might be a part of a botnet, but what ransomware does is it literally holds your files ransom until you pay. And even if you pay, there's no guarantee that you'll actually get any of your information back. Once infected, the ransomware will start looking through all of your files. So we'll find things like pictures, video, music, documents, pretty much anything it can get its hands on and start encrypting it. Now once these files are encrypted and it doesn't take long, they're basically totally useless to you unless you have the key, which they just so happen to have and will offer to unlock for you for a very reasonable fee. Generally speaking, once you have actually had your files encrypted, there's really nothing you can do about it. Ransomware like this has been around for a few years now, but what's different is that there's a new, much more dangerous version of it around, WannaCry. Originally, this was an exploit found by the NSA called Eternal Blue, where they presumably used it for super secret spy stuff. However, one of their servers was actually leaked and lots of their tools were available publicly, including this one, where bad things started happening. Eternal Blue is an exploit in Windows networking that is especially dangerous because you don't need to be doing anything wrong to be affected. So you take that and you combine it with ransomware and you have a very dangerous combination. The good news is that Microsoft has already released a patch to deal with this exploit, but to show you how big of a deal this is, they even released an emergency patch for Windows XP, which came out in 2001. If your computer is fully up to date, you are safe from WannaCry, but of course there are lots and lots and lots of computers that are not fully up to date. So some countries have huge percentages of PCs that are running pirated windows that might not be getting updates. There are plenty of companies that can't just immediately update 300,000 PCs with a new patch. And of course, some people just don't get around to updating their computer very often. To demonstrate what happens if you are infected, however, we're going to purposely put WannaCry on this computer. Now, the main thing I wanna see is, first of all, can you do anything about it? Spoiler alert, no. But also, I just wanna see what the process is if you actually are infected. So I have a few files on this computer right now. So for example, I have a WordPad document, I have an image, but keep in mind, WannaCry will go after pretty much anything that is on your PC. So you can imagine if this is my personal computer with all of my documents, all my everything, it will pretty much attack whatever it can get its hands on. So what I'm going to be doing is actually manually triggering WannaCry. Generally, if this is you and you were infected in the wild, you wouldn't really have to do anything. It would just show up on your computer, attack all your files, and you wouldn't even know anything was going on in the background. But let's find out what happens when you are attacked by WannaCry. All right, let's give this a try. Oh wow, yep, that's doing stuff. That's immediately doing stuff. So you can see Task Manager, eating up CPU, stuff is all over the desktop. I see the original files, but I also see the encrypted versions. Interesting. So if this happens to you, you immediately turn your computer off. But you can see it's writing a ton of stuff to the disk right now, eating up a fair bit of CPU, and of course your desktop is just littered with all the crap. Oh, <laughs> it did it. All right, what does this say? If you need your files, you have to run the decrypt software. Run and follow the instructions. <laughs> hmm, do we want to do it? Well, yes, yes we do. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. What happened to my computer? Your important files are encrypted. Many of your documents, photos, videos, and databases are no longer accessible because they've been encrypted. <laughs> I love it. Can I recover my files? Sure, we guarantee that you recover all your files safely and easily, but you do not have enough time. So if I send them $300 worth of Bitcoin, it will call back to home and say, hey, you did it. We'll decrypt all your files and it's all totally fine. Except who knows if they actually want to do that. That was quick. Now, of course, there weren't a ton of files on this computer, but you can see if I'm gonna try to open up maybe like the, the file or anything, it just brings it, it's like a dot win cry file. So if I try to open it up, yeah, it's all complete garbage. So it's encrypted, there's no way I'm doing anything with that. Thankfully, this version of WannaCry has mostly been taken care of at this point, but there's always going to be another big exploit that will come out of nowhere. So please, keep your computers up to date, keep your phones, tablets, toasters, whatever the case is, keep it up to date. 
Anyway, let me know what you guys think about WannaCry and all of this craziness in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next one.